good afternoon and welcome to another little video. I hope that you're enjoying these mini vlogs. It's really nice for me to start finding a way to share my daily foraging with you. Um, so I hope that you're enjoying this. Uh, it is the afternoon and uh, it's foraging time and I'm just chilling out in the forest with my friends. <laughs> I'm so excited. We got so lucky today and uh, found some very very, look at the size of these. <laughs> um, we have got a whole basket full, actually. Let me show you. We've got a whole basket full in here. This is possibly the best Morella I've ever found in my life, so it's very, very special. So, Bob's going to be my companion for the video. <laughs> going to eat you later. <laughs> So I thought I'd talk to you today about what do I even go out with when I'm foraging and at the moment because it's springtime and there's beautiful things around us to collect like the wild garlic flower buds and primrose flowers and violet flowers, dandelions, daisies, all the kind of nice floral things which you don't just want to pick and put in your basket. So a lot of people have commented on this lately. I do take out glass jars with me at the moment so that it keeps things nice and organised and also flowers are quite delicate so you don't want them bashing around in your basket. I always have a foraging basket and I always take my mushrooms for a walk. So these guys were not foraged, this little fella here, these were not foraged nearby. Oh, they smell so good. I so want to eat this, I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, I always take my little mushrooms for a walk and as I gather them over the day, I sort of take them for walks around the forest. So if you ever find these things, maybe I encourage them to grow somewhere. So I'm collecting things in my basket. And the other thing I take out with me is a legal pocket knife. Uh, double check the law on whether your knife is legal. But this is absolutely imperative. And especially at the moment, because we're now going to hopefully, that hurt. Wow. <laughs> So hopefully this is really important today because hopefully we're going to find some more dryad saddle. So let's get hunting and uh, welcome to another day of foraging with me. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so I'm in this beautiful ancient woodland and there's lots and lots of wild garlic here and the Wild garlic is about to flower, so you can see the little flower buds. You can see that the little flower buds are just starting to burst. So before they get to this stage, they will look like this. And I'm going to use my jar now and just gather a whole jar full. And what I'll do with these is when I get home, I will give them a good rinse. And then I will use a clean sterilised jar, pop my wild garlic flower bud capers in and I'll probably top it up just with some red wine vinegar and they store really well in the fridge and then every time you have a salad, especially one with feta and tomato, pop in those lovely pickled wild garlic flower buds and they'll give you that really nice springtime kick. So I'm going to get foraging. There we go, five minutes between the two of us, we filled that, and honestly, we haven't touched it. <laughs> so don't worry that you're gonna hide up nature. Just take enough, and a jar like this throughout the whole year, you would only use a few in a salad, right? And uh, yeah, a few in each salad. So this is gonna last you until next spring when you can do this all over again. So maybe if I continue this little series of daily foraging things, I will show you how I make this at home. I'm pretty sure um, I did put this in a video last year, so maybe go through my spring foraging stuff on YouTube. So it would be absolutely obscene to find the biggest mor morels in the world today and not have them with some wild garlic because morels buttering garlic is quite frankly heaven in your mouth. Um, so I'm just going to gather myself some wild garlic to take just to go with my morels. Lovely. <laughs> So I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in for today's foraging adventure. I hope that you're enjoying these videos. Be sure to leave me a comment. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't. Do you like the music? Do you prefer it when I don't talk, when I do talk? What do you want to see? Let me know how I can make these videos better for you guys because I make them for you and I think it's really lovely 
to try and show you a bit more of my little world uh, on a daily basis. My beautiful nature. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, see you soon.